Our spaceman, let's call him Dave, embarks on a mission to explore the unknown. Little does Dave know his journey will lead him to the most fascinating and terrifying object in the universe, a black hole. From the vast emptiness of space, the black hole appears as a void, a region of absolute darkness. As Dave's spaceship gets closer, the pull of the black hole's gravity intensifies, drawing him in. Dave's instruments start to go haywire as he approaches this gravitational anomaly. He feels an unnerving sense of weightlessness as if he's falling, yet there's no ground to fall towards. The light from distant stars begins to bend and warp around the black hole, creating a mesmerizing halo effect. Dave is captivated, but also apprehensive, aware of the danger that lies ahead. Dave has now crossed the event horizon, the point of no return here. Gravity reigns supreme, even light, the fastest thing in the universe, cannot escape its clutches. Dave is trapped. There's no turning back. Behind him, the universe he knows is fading away, the blackness of the black hole swallowing everything in its path. Ahead of him, Dave sees only darkness. But as he ventures further, strange things begin to happen. Time itself starts to behave oddly. From Dave's perspective, time seems to slow down. This is due to the immense gravity of the black hole, warping the fabric of space-time. For Dave, time is running slower compared to someone observing from a safe distance. This phenomenon is known as time dilation. If Dave could look back at the universe he left behind, he would see it aging rapidly. Years would seem to pass in mere seconds. However, Dave doesn't have time to dwell on this. He's experiencing the extreme gravitational forces firsthand. He feels a stretching sensation, a pull on his body like he's never felt before. This is the beginning of spaghettification, a consequence of the intense tidal forces exerted by the black hole. As Dave gets closer to the singularity at the center of that black hole, the gravitational gradient becomes more extreme. The pull on his feet is significantly stronger than the pull on his head, stretching him vertically. Imagine being stretched like chewing gum, except on a cosmic scale. This relentless stretching continues, pulling Dave's body into a long, thin strand, hence the term spaghettification. Eventually, even his atoms are ripped apart, torn asunder by the unimaginable forces at play. Dave, or what's left of him, is now an indistinguishable part of the singularity, forever lost to the universe he once knew. The mystery of what truly lies at the heart of a black hole remains unsolved. 